Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander with DevDaily.com, and this is a short video on how to navigate around the VI editor. To get started, we're going to use a sample file named gettysburgaddress.txt. Basic navigation in VI is very simple. You can use the arrow keys to move left and right, or up and down. And if you have a keyboard that supports it, you can use the home and end keys to move to the beginning and end of line, and the page up and page down keys. All of those keys will work with the latest versions of the VI editor. In my case, I happen to have one of these small keyboards from Apple, so I don't have the home, end, page up, page down keys. But that's kind of nice for what I'm doing here, because this gives me an opportunity to show you other ways of moving around a file with VI. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start with a, a local scope and just show you how to move from one word to the other. Then we'll look at how to move around the line, then how to look around the visible screen, and then move around the entire file. First, to move from one word to the other, you can use the W command to move forward one word. And you can see as I keep pressing the letter W, I'm moving forward one word. And eventually, I start moving from one line to the next as I move forward one word. To move backwards one word at a time, I just use the letter B. And as you can see, it works just like the letter W did, except I'm moving backwards one word at a time, and I'm also moving backwards across lines. Next, to navigate on a line in the VI Editor, you can use two simple commands. The dollar sign takes you to the end of the line. So as you can see, no matter where I was, I jumped immediately to the end of the line. And zero takes me to the beginning of the line. So again, dollar sign end, zero to the beginning of the line. To move around the visible screen in VI, there's three simple commands, and they're actually very easy to remember. To move to the top of the screen, just think hi and type the letter, capital letter H, and that'll move you to the high part of the screen. Capital letter M moves you to the middle of the screen, and the capital letter L moves you to the lower part, or the bottom of the screen. So again, that was high, middle, and low. To move through a file in VI, you can easily move from one screen to the other using two other commands. Control F moves you forward one screen, and as you can see, when I press Control F, I move forward in the document. And I'll press Control F one more time. And this takes me to the end of this short document. To move backwards, I do Control B. And as you can see, that takes me backwards through the file. So again, Control F forward, Control B backwards. Finally, if I want to easily jump around my entire file, I can do that with one simple command, and that's essentially the Go command or a capital G. If I type capital G by itself, that takes me to the end of the file. And you can see in my small file, I've just jumped down to line 52. To move to any other point in the file, you also use the G command, but you proceed it by a number. For instance, if I want to go to the first line in the file, I type 1G, and that takes me to line 1. If I want to go to line 33, I type 33G, and that takes me to line 33. So again, 1G, so again, 1G takes me to the top of the file, G by itself takes me to the bottom of the file, and then some number, such as 25, G, takes me to line 25 in the file. This has been our introduction to navigation in the VI Editor. For more information on VI, please visit the devdaily.com website and search for VI Editor.